Yes, once again, it is time for Food City Friday. And, you know, Kirby Moyer is here with us today. And, Kirby, we hate to say it, but everybody is back to school. We I mean, are it is back, back in it. It is back to school time. <laughs> but everybody's back in the classroom right now. Some things you got to keep in mind. you got to keep everybody well fed. That's right. And I think we like to talk about fueling kids yes. to go back to school. And an essential part of that is actually what we call carbohydrates. Right. That's where kids get all that energy. But we want to be packing the right types of carbs. Okay. And we talk about whole grains. That's yes. what we're looking for. So sharing some tips starting off with that today. And I guess one thing, you know, one thing we always think about when we go back to school and everything is making those sandwiches, making those lunches and everything. Whole grain bread is a great place to start. One of the easiest swaps I think a lot of people can make is just simply starting early, introducing kids to whole grains. Mm -hmm. um, and as parents, sometimes we're like, you know, I don't maybe like whole grain bread. So right. are they going to like it? Uh, that's why actually I love Lewis bread, the okay. half loaves. Because if you're a split household, right. or certain people like whole wheat, certain people, you can get what you would need in the equivalent of one loaf. Right. Um, this is also super nice. They actually have a little tag on the side that gives the whole grain stamp, ah. which is awesome. And then again, we want to look for items that say whole wheat. Another great choice that we recommend are mm -hmm. wraps. Okay. Um, and that's because, you know, just switching to the whole grain is going to offer more fiber. But mm -hmm. what we know about wraps, we normally can stuff those full of extra nutrition, yes. sneaking a little bit of veggies, a little bit of tomatoes. Um, a little bit of lettuce if you're making kind of those options. I love a peanut butter and jelly. We were talking about that being a classic lunchbox option. Right. Um, this is kind of an inspired way to sneak a little bit more fruit into that and actually doing a little um, lunchbox sushi, if you will, featuring <laughs> a whole wheat wrap, peanut butter, and then a banana in the yes. center. Super easy to make and then super fun for kids to kind of eat and engage with. Great for snack time also. Mm -hmm. And banana, you, we were talking, you know, at an earlier time about potassium. Great source of potassium. And, of course, you're getting peanut butter. has so many great, great things for you in there as yes, well. Yes, yeah. And then, again, what we know about packing more whole grains, that's going to give more sustained energy. Yes. It kind of helps yes. kids feel focused longer. So switching to whole grains is going to offer more fiber, more, more nutrients. So trying to make that quick swap, especially, too, when it comes to snack time. Okay. Um, and I, this is probably one of my favorite snacks as a kid um, and still as a dietitian now, mm. are goldfish. They yes. actually are made from whole grains, whether you're getting the colorful one. You'll see it right there and on you the get package. And you get a baked, a yes, baked with whole baked. grains. It's great. Um, great. And I love these too because you kind of get, they're made from real cheese. Mm -hmm. They have a little bit of salt, but they're not crazy salty. So right. if you're looking for like a chip alternative or something to balance out, these are a great choice. And then popcorn is also oh, yes. a whole grain. So mm -hmm. popcorn in any form is, is a whole grain choice. What we get a little worried about though is sometimes we start to do the butter and we start to do the yes. salt. This is a really convenient option mm -hmm. um, that you can just kind of pack on the go. They come in a couple different flavors. Mm -hmm. This is that kettle corn. Has a little bit of sweetness in there but another smart swap for our kids' lunch and, for the, and, snack. and for those folks gluten free, another great option. Yes, yes. yeah, absolutely. That is a gluten free choice. So mm -hmm. if you're looking for a whole grain and you're like, but I can't do wheat, recognize that those corn those things are a great choice. And then when it comes to breakfast in the morning um, we talk about lunch, but breakfast time is another great swap. I love to do this pancakes and waffle mix, but let's be honest, who has time <laughs> to make a pancake? Unless it's the weekend, yeah. sometimes you just don't have time. So this is a great hack. It's actually sheet pan pancakes. Okay. Um, it takes 12 to 14 minutes to bake in the oven. You just get the pan hot, mix that up with eggs and milk, and you could do chocolate chips or berries. You could actually prep these on Sundays, right. cut them into squares, and then just microwave them for the week. So that's another great way to start your kids with that fiber filled whole grain and again what we're doing we're promoting their brain having energy mm -hmm. their body having energy and these are also flavorful kid approved ways to get those whole grains in all right great ideas we're going to come back with some more great ideas coming up here in a minute it is food city friday we're talking about back to school making sure we're taking care of all those students as they head back to the class and if you want to find out more go to foodcity.com